Driving into the city for all seasons, it doesn't take long to notice, at least where businesses stand. Same thing goes for residents. Anyone I have talked to about it is the consensus is that, you know, they should stay. I just think that it's really nice to have our own force. I think it'll more personalized attention and so forth. An opinionated town both on billboard and online. The Facebook page Save the Polk City Police Department has since exploded with more than 750 vocal opponents. That's like walking billboard right there, like, or driving billboard, I guess. Lindsay Robinson's billboard, the back windows of her SUV. We want the city to see that we all support having our local police here. A big concern of Lindsay and many others, deputy response time. I've been out to Chester Park and had to call them, and it took almost two hours for them to get somebody out there. Some misinformed people spreading misinformation. Uh, it's an unfortunate thing. Council member Rob Mordini says they aren't even in preliminary discussion. Right now it's just an idea being tossed around and they haven't even sat down to figure out costs. We will never have less than 24-7 coverage in town and we will only be stronger at the end of this process. It shouldn't have even been, been considered in my mind. As daylight faded, blue lights across town switch on. Not just at Diana Dabritsky's house, but down her whole street. Diana says the city's isolation from other big cities makes moving to more distant law enforcement all the more troubling. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, you could say. There's, we're not near a big city to say that we're going to have the support and someone there.